Good day, everyone. It's Mr. Dino here, and you're welcome to my class. How are you? Good. Good to hear that. I want you to stand up right now. Stand up. And I want you to sing Hello Song. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> so much for singing that song with me today and to continue with our class today we are in unit seven lesson four places now the places we're talking about will be place at the camp lesson one and two last time talks about place in the town or in the city Today, we will focus on our study towards the end of this lesson, the places about camp. Okay, so remember, um, places at the camp, we will be talking also about preposition, the grammar part. Okay, before anything, I want you to get your paper, your activity. Last time you did this in the class. Um, today for online classes, I want you to, sorry, for um, um, video recording, I want you to get this um, worksheet, lesson number three. As you can see right here, there are six um, pictures. Number one is already been given. The answer has already been provided. Um, we will be um, checking your answer whether they are all correct for number two, three, four, five, six. And also, we will find the vocabulary here in this word search. Are you ready? Please get your paper. Cool. Okay, ready? Number one is cafeteria. Of course, cafeteria is there. Number two, pool. Okay. Uh, write the correct spelling. Make sure it's correct. P double O L. Number three, lake. L A K E. Number four, boat house. B O A T H O U S E. Number five, look at here. Two words. This is health lodge, health lodge, okay? This building right here, we call it health lodge. And the last one is cabin. Now, we will search the word one by one. Cafeteria, whoops, it's right here. Cafeteria, pool, pool. Okay, pool is right here. Next, lake. Leg, leg is right here. Both house, both house is right here. Health lodge, health lodge is right here until here. And the last one is cabin, cabin. Cabin is somewhere here. Okay. 
So this is now complete. How many of you got all correctly? Yeah, good job. So right now, we are reviewing our vocabulary. Before we go to our lesson number four, we will review our vocabulary. There are eight vocabularies for vocabulary for town, places in town. And um, as we review, we also have six vocabulary for uh, places at the camp. Number one, what place is it? It's a firehouse. Very good. What about this one right here? It's a movie theater. That's correct. That's correct. What about this one? It's a library. Yay. You're correct. And this one? A bookstore. Yes, you can find a name right there. Bookstore. What about this one? It's a supermarket. Good job. Good job. And this one? It's a park. It's a park. Very good. What about this one? It's a school. School. It's a school. And this one right here? It's a hospital. So these are the vocabulary we've got for lesson one and two. And we find the locations. Remember last time, they're the same vocabulary we use for the preposition, the word the words are in front of, okay, remember that, in front of, next to, next to, across from, across from, and then behind, behind, and then around. Let's find out. Before we, we um, continue, let's look at also the vocabulary that we have for the uh, places of the camp. Number one, what place is it? It's a cabin. Very good, cabin. What about this one? This place is called Boat House. Boat House. What about this one? It's a pool. It's a pool. And this one? Lake. Great job. It's a lake. This one? It's a cafeteria. Very good. Cafeteria. What about this one? Health Lodge. Great job. Health Lodge. Health Lodge. Okay. Um. Can you re still remember the, the spelling for each of the new vocabulary? Okay, cabin, can you spell for me? C-A-B-I-N. That's correct. C-A-B-I-N. What about boathouse? B-O-A-T-H-O-U-S-E. That's correct. B-O-A-T-H-O-U-S-E. And what about this one? It's a pool. We call it swimming pool. Pool. How do you spell pool? P O O L. Okay, that's correct. How about health lodge? Health lodge. Okay, H E A L T H L O D G E. L O D G E. Health lodge. How about this one? Lake. L A K E. That's correct. And this one, it's a cafeteria. Yes, it's a cafeteria. How do you spell cafeteria? C-A-F-E-T-E-R-I-A, cafeteria. Oh, you make me hungry this time, huh? Okay, and now let's review our vocabulary for the prepositions of place. In front of? Okay, in front of, look at that. Where is the boy? Where's the boy? The boy is in front of the house. That's correct. Where is the ball? 
The ball is in front of the box. Very good. Where is the boy right here in this picture? The boy is in front of the Christmas tree. That's correct. What about this boy right here? He's in front of the door. Okay. So, remember, in front of. In front of. In front of. Okay. Uh, next one we have here. Next to. Next to. Next to. It can be right or left. Next to. Next to. Where is the ball? The ball is next to the box. Where's the box? The box is next to the ball. Okay, very good. Here, where is the pharmacy? We learned this in lesson three. Where's the pharmacy? The pharmacy is next to the bookstore. Where's the bookstore? The bookstore is next to the pharmacy. Where is the dog? The dog is next to the mailbox. Okay. So, remember, in front of, next to, just beside you, next to, next to. Next one is across from the, across, across from the. Where is the shop? The shop is across from the theater. Where is the theater? The theater is across from the shop. So, uh, vice versa. Mm -hmm. Next example. Where is the park? The park is across from the school. Same thing. Where is the school? The school is across from the park. So, remember... Across, across. First one we have in front of, next to, across from. Now let's learn the fourth one. Let's review the fourth one. Behind, the, where is the dog? The dog is behind the table. And where is the boy? The boy is behind the books what about the sheep the sheep is behind the tree that's correct where is the girl the girl is behind the curtain very good you can all either say curtain or behind the boy Last one, but before we go to the last one, we have in front of, next to, next to, across from, behind, and around. The last one is around. Look at the first picture right here. There's, this is the globe and the people. We can also say the world. Yeah. Where are the people? Where are the people? The people are around the world. What about this one? You can see gifts. You can see Christmas tree and the globe behind it. Where is the, or where are the gifts? The gifts are around the Christmas tree. Around the Christmas tree. Very good. Where are the people? As you can see right here, there is a clock tower. Where are the people? The people are around the clock tower. Very good. The people are around the clock tower. Yay. So, remember, in front of, next to, next to, across from the, behind, and around. Remember these five places, prepositions of place. So for the grammar number two, we have here, where is the, and then location, right? Where is, if singular, if only one, we use where is. Remember, 
last time we talked about this question for only singular lesson number two today we're gonna talk about where is and where are okay example here where is singular only one if so example of the question where is the cabin as you can see where is another example for here where are is used for plural objects plural objects here cabin here cabins here cabin here cabins three one two three questions would be question would be where are the cabins where are the cabins so this will be our grammar for number four they are the answer for here singular where is question uh, answer begins with it is or it's um for the plural where are the cabins we say they are they are they are okay preposition and then here place they are next to the mm, and then a place okay so first example by looking at this this picture right here places we use at the camp right this is the camp right here question where are the cabins cabins are right here cafeteria like can you tell me what are these things one more time cabins cafeteria similar to lodge but here you've got the sign for uh ladle and knife okay pool health lodge you got to see the cross right here and boat house lake in the middle so where are the cabins they are next to the pool they are in front of the cafeteria which one do you think is the answer very good they are in front of the cafeteria they don't go around around means all around so they are just in front of the cafeteria okay make sure they're in front of the cafeteria another example the same picture question is where is the health lodge mm -hmm, it's right there but how will you say the correct description or location it's next to the bat ho boat house boat house is right here it's behind the pool which one is the correct one it's behind the pool as you can see the pool is just in front and the what the health lodge is behind next question where is the boat house the boat house is right there how will you say it it's next to the lake lake it's behind the pool it's next to the lake very good you can also say it's across from the cafeteria you can also say that you can also say it's next to the lake okay and where is another picture right here um this is in the city so a while ago we used the same grammar for two places the city the camp where is the hospital it's behind the bookstore it's next to the school where is the hospital it's behind the bookstore very good one more time i want you to read the answer where is the hospital can you read for me the answer please okay good job another one where is the firehouse it's in front of the bookstore it's across from the park 
It's in front of the bookstore. Very good. So, let's see. Let's have practice. Let's have practice this time. Let's have practice. Here, you will see the picture. Same picture we used a while ago. Can you help me tell the exact location of these places? Okay. The boathouse is blank the health lodge. Hmm. You can see that there's something in the middle. What should be the answer? Across from. Very good. Across because there's a lake in the middle. That is the health lodge. This is the both house, the lake is in the middle. So it's a cross. Very good. Cabins. The cabins are blank, 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 the cafeteria. Where are the cabins? Next two. There are only two words for next two. We need three here. Behind, it's only one. Around the only one in front of very good in front of the cafeteria in front of okay. What about the health lodge? Where is the health lodge? Pool health lodge. Where is it? Cross? Are you sure? Yeah, health lodge is across from the boathouse, but it cannot be across from the pool. What do you think is the right word? Behind. Very good. Behind. The health lodge is behind the pool. Next one. Boathouse is blank, blank the lake. Lake, boathouse. Next to, great, next to, next to the lake. That's correct. Okay, so since you know already, we've got, I've given you example or examples. Now it's your turn to answer this question. Okay, the same picture right here used, same picture. This will be your classwork. The boathouse is blank from the health lodge. Across from, right? Boathouse is from the health lodge. Across from the health lodge. So it's your turn to write the correct answers right here. The cabins are mm, blank, 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 the cafeteria. Health lodge is mm, the pool. Boathouse is mm, mm, the lake. Okay, get your paper. I'll give, give you 10 seconds to get your paper. Lesson number four, page 28. Lesson number four, page 28. And for this, I want you to write your name right here. Name, number, and class. Name, number, and class. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, now I will give you seven minutes to finish. Three, two, go.
Yes, you are now all complete. If you have some questions, you can ask me during the class next time. Okay. We will now sing our goodbye song. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Bye.